Meet Carla. She's lonely. Her marriage of 35 years has ended in divorce. Her kids have grown up and are raising families of their own, so she's decided to take another chance on love. As a 65-year-old, she didn't want to go to a bar to meet other singles, so she took the advice of friends and began her search for companionship online. Carla met a slew of suitors who she found interesting, but one in particular caught her eye. Richard said he grew up in the same town as she, shared her interests, and couldn't wait to meet her in person. The only hitch, he needed her assistance to buy a ticket in order for them to meet face-to-face. -face. This was a red flag. Carla's friend John recently lost a great deal of his savings to someone he met on a singles website, whose story he fell for, later to learn she wasn't who she said she was. John has since shared some of the tips he's learned from Home Equity Bank with other seniors. Carla recalls, don't pursue a long-distance relationship. Scammers do this to cover their tracks. Stay where you are. Scammers will try to get you away from the dating site where your messages are tracked and into a more private exchange, such as personal emails or phone calls. Never disclose personal information. Don't share too many details about yourself. Don't fall for a sob story. Things are not always exactly as they appear. These tips come in handy. Carla declines Richard's suggestion to meet in person. She continues to meet other seniors online. For more information or to find out how you can protect yourself from online fraudsters, visit homeequitybank.ca.